anyone will get pleasure out of watching an image that is in time to, to music. It's one of those human things that you just get, get into and you enjoy. It's all about synthesis, so it's, it's the dot synthesize new patterns and create new shapes. We want people yeah. to have the big room uh, rave experience with this, with this track, whether it's they're watching it on YouTube or whether they've got a full screen high def. We just want it to be really immersive and, um, yeah, kind of just take over for three minutes. I'm Alex Sushan, I'm a graphic designer and DJ and um, well me and Kate are long time friends and collaborators. Uh, yeah I'm Kate, Kate Ross and uh, I'm a graphic designer and I am art directing this year for Simeon Mobile Disco. Alex and I had worked together on projects that used a similar technique. I felt only right to kind of include him again in the project and bring in another eye to the, the making of the video. Mainly <laughs> it was because Alex had musical experience and I think this, the way that we wanted to make the video it counted a lot on somebody understanding bars and, and, and noise Struct and Structure, structure and yeah. intensity and things like that in the drama and the music. For the start of the Simeon project where I will probably predominantly be working on my own it would it's always nice for me to have people to work with along the way and I will be collaborating with other people further down the line mm -hmm. so I'll be a kind of consistent thread but then I'll have all these other creative people that will come in along the way and then by the end of it we'll have a really nice collection of videos and graphics and t-shirts and all sorts of things that are fed by lots of different people rather than it just being a solo show. Just, and you would have kept it consistent. Yeah, and I just kind of keep the, keep the cap on everything. Well, I mean, we met a million years ago, probably my oldest friend. Oh. Um, I went on a summer course at St Martin's and Alex was there and too. And I went on the very same summer <laughs> course. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. And uh, we met that week and we kind of got on um, really well and rarely do you ever kind of meet people that, you, that stay around in your life at like weird summer camps. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we wanted to strip it down, I mean from my point of view when I was writing the treatment, I wanted to strip it down as much as possible and um, Simi and Mobile Disco have kind of always enjoyed the kind of graphic designers conceptual tweak on things and they really kind of indulge in that I mean you can tell by their music and the way that they use their their equipment that they have that awareness of of, of subtle changes and and of not being too exuberant but kind of honing back and keeping simplicity and keeping it minimal they really like the idea of, of kind of simple geometric or, or circular shapes that in mm. some way display a narrative or, or give the, the viewer an idea of a story even without necessarily implying that there's something happening there is still kind of a, a flowing narrative that runs throughout the film we had this trigger which was the polka dot thing and they they had looked at this um, artist and um, she had done a lot of uh, installations and, and paintings and things that use surfaces and dots to kind of create this sense of dimension and that was their trigger for me to kind of work off the rest of the year and we were going to include that in the website and the album artwork and hopefully some way give that to the directors for the videos for the year to kind of drive their ideas from as well. We worked firstly to animate all the separate sections in Flash and um, we did that um, to a, a not, not a real time timeline so we had these really long clips of just looping animations, really simple ones. And then we dropped that all into um, Ableton, uh, Ableton 7, which is Ableton's traditionally used for, for music and production and things like that. But it's got this new facility for video, which we exploited loads for this. And it, um, it ended up being quite process driven and actually Ableton helped us get the result that we, um, we got in the end. Basically for each uh, sound is represented by a different animation. So for example, the, the synths that just kind of flash in chords that's represented by the dot that you can see behind us. And so when, when there's a new instrument that comes in, it may look like that instrument is playing over the top of, of, the, of the original image, but actually it's a timing thing. It actually plays its own independent time and then the, the original image will come back in. So you think that they're playing at the same time, but actually they're playing separately. So Because of the fast succession, they yeah. look like they're coinciding. And it actually ended up being so pure and we really like that. So we, we, we ran with that process. We kind of wanted to have the video and a live element that even amplified the fact that we were in a, in a venue and a, in a time scale and so it felt like a real live event mm -hmm. and a, a performance and more than just kind of like 
a chopped up video that that is spent hours in in post production. And we, we, we just wanted, wanted to, to avoid it looking like it was done in on a computer in a suite somewhere. It's really an, uh, we wanted it to be an event. Yeah, for sure. Mostly, I wanted to hark back to kind of the old, like acid and, and rave days, mm -hmm. where you there, there isn't too much going on, but it's the effect of the motion to the to the music That's and exactly the lighting right. that that gives you that euphoria rather yeah. than snazzy 3D um, over overly buffed graphic images. We wanted to keep it super minimal so that the the video in some way seemed a little bit timeless. Also, we wanted to go against the styles that we've both used and what everyone seems to be using at the moment, which is this quite graphic, um, angular and sharp way of looking at things. And, and also to keep in mind what the band want and, and the fact that they're willing to break the rules a little bit and, and not conform to, to being like a pop group. You know, they, they want to, to vert videos and do things differently. And, and, you know, the fact that they let me do my first music video with very with a zero visual creative like consultation beforehand and they just like let me get, kind of explain what I wanted to do and they're like yeah go and go and do it <laughs> so you know all of those things kind of come together in in I think also the fact that they trusted us to do it means that we've had complete freedom and not had the bounds that most people would have in a conventional video but because there's no there's no band in this video and there's no like really kind of commercial MTV style cuts or anything, well they won't be. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. You know, we didn't overthink it or anything, we just kind of said this is this is how we're going to do it and we were really strategic in the way that we did it and that meant when we got to the end we had a, still had a pure film that hadn't been interrupted by wanting to be flashy or cool or do anything particularly complex. Exactly. Be because we had this really tight idea to start with. Area 10 made the shortlist straight away just because it's a, it's a cool space. I've been here before for various reasons, whether it's raves or art exhibitions. And um, I'd actually projected here before and done some VJing here. Um, so I knew that it was a good space to do that in because suddenly what you have is um, your flat images gain all this texture from just being on these scuzzy walls. And there's all this stuff around, you know, and it catches the light in interesting ways. The whole idea with this is we're taking a flat, um, simple animation and giving it texture. Um, so we got a live strobe um, and we've actually been playing that strobe um, and kind of freestyling its patterns and stuff like that just over the top of the animation um, and that's really introduced a whole new angle to it today. The whole point of this track is that it's an internet viral so it's going to go out instead of the mp3 going out the video will go out so you won't be able to separate the two they'll, they'll be together in every place that they're blogged or posted. I think it, it all kind of tied itself into this really nice package that that will really exhibit the, the track, the first track released off the new record, and uh, I hope the band like it. <laughs>